Guys, welcome to downtown Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Historic Gettysburg stuff everywhere. Also right along the Lincoln Highway, of course. My RV is parked in Hanson, a nearby town at the Walmart. And I brought the bike back to Gettysburg. I will just mention, if you're thinking about bringing in an RV to here, it's not really very friendly. Like I said, the Walmart doesn't even allow overnight parking. And this place fills up like in the spring for all their parks and places to park. You look how I feel. Yes, it's exactly how I feel right now after getting back. Guys, how are you? I just got back from Gettysburg. I'm not too happy. First of all, a heat index of 119 degrees outside, which means today outside was the hottest day, hottest place I've ever been in my entire life. Hotter than Miami, Key West, Vegas, Southern California. Today, here in Gettysburg, is the hottest anywhere in the country and I get back here and I have a bunch of fantastic hard worked video with absolutely no audio because the microphone was not plugged in all the way I'm not doing it again guys I about died today I am going to narrate some clips that don't have any audio for you and try to relive some of what's going on here okay yeah let's do that so here i am uh downtown gettysburg at the gettysburg hotel there and i was making some joke about this roundabout probably not being original to this area uh this is a hotel that uh, lincoln stayed at right the day the night before his gettysburg address he stayed at the wills house and Here's another statue recreation of Perry Como with Lincoln there getting ready for the uh, Gettysburg Address. Lincoln in his suit there. Oh, and then I saw this big chess set outside this game store. I thought that'd be really cool, like life-size almost. And then this iconic pose of Lincoln that I've seen on the entire trip. I mean, just all over the Lincoln Highway. It's kind of recognizable. Uh, I, think, I think I was just complaining about the heat here. I'm like, where is everybody? <laughs> Why am I the only person out here? Uh, Lincoln in his top hat. Lots of statues here at the park. I stopped into the visitor center and got a new magnet. Enjoyed the air conditioning for a little bit. I couldn't resist this one magnet because it cracked me up. It's Lincoln and it says, I can't even right now. And it's exactly how I felt with the heat and just everything going on. So got two Gettysburg magnets total. And then here we are outside. So you get to walk all these acres and acres and look at all the places and monuments of the battlefield between the Union and the Confederates. And uh, it's just a ton, a ton of walking and then just a whole bunch of plaques. And I'm like, this is really weird. I mean, it's cool to be here, but I don't feel like you have to walk over all the areas just to get a feel for it. So again, I got, I was just dripping with sweat and getting in my eyes and everything. I'm like, you know, I think I've had enough. Let's uh, go look for something different at this point, because we've seen enough. And then I found this place, which was advertised as the Dime Museum. I had no idea what it was. I thought it was literally, like, coins. Dime Museum. I went inside, paid my $7, and it's like this quirky, I don't know, circus freak thing. See, there's the elephant man there. So they were trying to uh, compete back in the day. That's a white elk there, albino, with other circus and weird stuff. So they only charged a dime to get in and look at the two-headed dog there. And uh, the, uh, here's Alligator Man. <laughs> Is that creepy or what? Uh, fish. It's uh, apparently what's for dinner. But wait. It's the Last Supper with Jesus Christ. Okay. Don't know why that's freakishly strange, but... Uh, got my water oh crap it's werewolf <laughs> they had a bunch of weirdness oh and dog man of course or is that teen wolf yeah teen wolf uh cutting back in here guys it is actually the next day and so just want to touch on a few things because a lot of craziness has happened first of all uh anytime you see this muff right here that means i'm using the gopro not my big expensive camera gear and as I've kind of mentioned I thought that when I'm riding the motorcycle that's just too much to carry so I'm gonna try to vlog with this as you can see everything was working great 
with the Canon M50 for like a month. And then the first time I try to do something really important with the GoPro, the audio problems come back where the no stabilization or just random stuff. I, I do not like this camera and it's not very dependable. Uh, I'm just gonna finish this particular video with it and check it right afterwards to make sure that there's audio being recorded. Wouldn't that be great to have audio with video? Something else happened yesterday. Um, I actually puked for the first time in years. I was trying to remember the last time I puked. I think it was like four or five years ago at an amusement ride when I had too much to drink, basically. Um, yesterday, after I got back to the RV, I, I puked and then I literally thought I was going to fall down on my face and faint. I was dizzy. I mean, I just, I don't know. I had been drinking lots of water, so I knew I wasn't dehydrated. It was not that. Um, I just didn't know what the problem was. And then all of a sudden I got really scared. I'm like, look, if I fall out in my RV by myself out here and it's, you know, I mean, this is just not safe. So I went to the local Gettysburg Hospital there, Wellspan, and checked in and said, I, th I think I got, like, like, I said heat stroke. Um, but anyway, it turned out to be I just had heat exhaustion and not from dehydration, from like a lack of salt, I guess they said or something. So there's different forms of heat exhaustion. And so you can be totally hydrated and still get heat exhaustion from being out in well, what, what, what the Weather Channel calls it, uh, excessive heat lately. It's just been crazy. And um, I, so I, I physically had that going on. Um, and then I got to sleep in last night and I felt better. Actually, I felt better as soon as I got into the lobby at the hospital. Their air conditioning was working really well and made me feel better. Um, I talked about this air conditioner. It, it won't cool it down past like 76 degrees in here when it has no problem working. Well, on a day like today or yesterday when it's 99 degrees outside, no, we struggle to keep it under 90 with the air conditioner on high, just burning fuel in the, for the generator. So it has just gotten to the point, guys. Okay, so here's, here's where we get into what's going on. This area of the country is just the ring of fire right now. And... Although I made the goal to experience as much of the Lincoln Highway as possible, I'm not going to hold myself to that if I'm not happy and if I'm having physical complications from the heat. So, um, again, I understand you guys from around here, you're like, Eric, you're a wuss. We deal with this all the time. That's great. I'm, I'm happy for you. I don't have to, though. I can go somewhere where it's cooler. I can just turn the key and go do something different. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you guys, <laughs> I guess. You want a cookie? Um, it, it gets warm around here. Uh, the entire, there, then there, it's really humid. Even up here in this area of Pennsylvania, it's just the entire east half of the country is just really hot and humid. It's funny, I was talking to my buddy Steve down in, in Florida. He's down there near or Orlando. And uh, the temperatures down there are actually cooler than what I've been experiencing the last few days here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> what? I mean, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And uh, like I said, I'm addressing this to the world and letting you all know that uh, I am going to expedite my route east and uh, skip a little more than I wanted to uh, for my health and Jackson and I's happiness on the road. So just, just bear with me guys. It's going to be a fun adventure either way. Um, but yeah, the Lincoln Highway is probably going to end in my next video, which means I have quite a bit of driving to do tonight. I'm going to take a little nap here until about 7 p.m. And then I'm going to get on the road and drive till about 3 a.m. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.